miss the ultimate light excerpt from horizons beyond the mind indeed bliss is the ultimate light for the mind to look for and live life accordingly bliss is neither philosophical nor intellectual certainly it is existential verily it is an experience just like love light and life you cannot teach a blind man what light is you can tell him about the physics of light you can tell him about the mathematics of light and tell him all the theories about light but even all these will not give him a single glimpse of light he will not know even a single ray of light he is blind in fact he does not even know darkness what to say about light ordinarily people think that blind people live in darkness but that is fallacy that is just your idea because when you close your eyes there is darkness and you think that blind people must be living in darkness blind person cannot see at all he has no vision how can he see darkness then to see darkness eyes are needed as much as eyes are needed to see light you cannot even explain darkness to a blind man what to say about light it is certainly impossible the only possible way is to help him so that his eyes are cured and he can also see for himself then there is no need to know the physics i do not know but i know what light is who knows the mathematics of light millions of people use light without knowing anything about it it is said that once it happened that thomas alva edison who was inventor of the electric bulb went to a village a hill station for a holiday the hill station had a small school and the school was celebrating its 100th anniversary so they had many functions many celebrations were going on he had nothing to do so he went to see what was going on there the school children had arranged an arrange an exhibition and they had made a few electrical thing a boy was showing him push this button and light comes on push this button and the fan starts moving and the villagers were very enchanted amused it was so new because they never saw electricity Edison also showed much interest and nobody knew that he was Edison the inventor humorously he asked the young boy what is electricity the boy said what is electricity wait i do not know but i will call my teacher the science teacher so the science teacher was called and edison asked what is electricity the science teacher was almost at a loss for an answer he said wait i am not very educated just a bsc our principal holds a doctorate in science i'll call him the principal came in and addison asked what is electricity principal looked very puzzled and said you have asked such a great question seeing the difficulty addison laughed and said 
there is no need. I am Thomas Alva Edison. I myself do not know what electricity is. Not that we know is how to use it. So you do not get worried about it. I am the inventor of all these things that you are showing here. I was just joking. I myself do not know what electricity is. Indeed, electricity is indefinable. But we are using it. We are using light. We are using air. We are using water. But all these are indefinable. People were drinking water before they came to know that water means H2O. Two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen. It was not needed. Without knowing what water consists of, people have been drinking and surviving perfectly well. The blind man needs eyes and then he will know light. He does not need theories about it. Exactly is the case with bliss. You do not need theories about it. There is no need at all. I am not a theoretician. I do not encourage you to be philosophical. I discourage as much as I can. Indeed, Master destroys all philosophical curiosities so that he can emphasize the existential. Remember, once you start moving into the philosophical direction, there is no end to it. And you will never come to know what bliss is. You will go on thinking and one thought leads to another thought. Thoughts move in an ad infinitum chain link. Just sit down and think of a name, place or anything. Maybe take the name of your husband, your wife, your friend or the restaurant where you went yesterday and see how thoughts start coming ad infinitum in a chain link manner. Bliss is an experience. I can teach you how to experience it, but I cannot tell you what it is. If you become silent, still, calm, quiet and collected, you will certainly experience it. Bliss is the experience of a silent state of mind. When mind is totally silent, there are no ripples, there is no movement on the surface. All of a sudden you enter a state, a state of innerness, a state of beingness, that state is bliss. Bliss is the experience of a silent state of mind. But normally it does not happen because mind is clutter and continues its own way, way of clattering. One thought leads to another. The chain of thoughts appearing on the surface or the inner sky of the mind is the clatter. Remember in a silent state of mind, mind is no more. There is just a stillness. It is no more mind, instead it becomes no mind. And with the disappearance of the mind, all desires disappear, all tensions vanish, all anxieties dissolve. 
these are all barriers which do not allow the flow of bliss in you. They do not allow the flow of bliss in you. When you sit down by a rose plant, you are watching a plant but the mind continues to entertain thoughts and in that you miss the beauty, the presence of the flower. You may have angry gesture, gesture of anxiety or many different type of gestures. But if you begin to feel what happens when you see a flower, what happens within, and you are with the flower that very moment something begins to happen in your innerness, in your biology, in your total being. Something begins to calm. If you watch, your breathing becomes slower and slower and reaches to a point where you do not even know if you are breathing. But it is there and so slow that you cannot feel the impact of it. It is the mind that does not allow the flow of bliss in you. Otherwise, bliss is your nature. Bliss surrounds you. If all the rocks are removed, suddenly with great force, your bliss start flowing like a stream. And what are these rocks? Your thoughts, your anxieties, your desires. And all these things that you consider as an important part of your mind. The anger, jealousy, hatred, haste. All these are the rocks that block the flow of bliss. The moment these are removed, bliss overflows. Meditation is the way to remove these blocks. And then all of a sudden, you do not have to do anything. The bliss begins to flow. A seeker has to remember it continuously because mind always distracts you towards philosophy. Seeing a flower, we become philosophical. We start creating theories. The anatomy and the physiology and start thinking that this flower is so beautiful. If I carry it for my boyfriend or husband or wife, the person will be very happy because this morning there was something happened and he was little upset for whatever reasons. Things like these we begin to philosophize, we move away from the reality. A seeker has to remember it continuously because mind always distracts you towards philosophy. And it is very easy to talk about and to read about it. The real problem is to experience that is arduous. Because for that you will have to go through an inner transformation, an altogether different journey. You have to move from mind to no mind, from thought to no thought, from desire to no desire. And all of a sudden you are in the realm where there are no blocks, no rocks, the stream of bliss continues to overflow naturally and spontaneously. <laughs>